Hello, this is Patrick W. Crawford from MUAC Productions, and this is a video showing how to install the MC Prep add-on into Blender 2.8. This is an exciting update. This is the first time that MC Prep has been supported for Blender 2.8, so I wanted to walk through the process, although it is very similar to Blender 2.79. To begin, you should go to theduckcow.com slash mcprep. This is the official page for the mcprep add-on. Then you'll go to the download mcprep button. Clicking on that will bring you to the page which will directly download the add-on for you. If it does not, after a few seconds, you can click on the click here to download button. While that's downloading, it is worth calling out that mcprep Version 3.2 is the first version to support Blender 2.8, and it happens to be the same install you'll use in Blender 2.8 as well as Blender 2.7. Once that is completed, you should note that it will output to a .zip file. If it unzips the file, you need to recompress it to a .zip file or change your browser settings so that when it downloads the .zip file, it doesn't try to auto open or extract it. Next, we'll go to Blender 2.8. Do try to use the latest version of 2.8. I will do my best to keep MC Prep up to date with the latest. It is still a beta product, so it will change. Things may break. Again, your best bet is to use the latest version of 2.8. But then to install the add-on, instead of going to File, we'll go to Edit, and then Preferences. From the Preferences window, we'll go to Add-ons, and then click on the Install button at the top right navigate to where you downloaded the add-on and you should note again it's going to be a .zip file don't select a python file or anything like that click on install add-on from file then you should note after a moment it should auto complete or show the add-on uh, if it does not then simply type in mc prep into this window here and then if it's not already enabled then enable it yourself like this you'll note that if i click on the little triangle, it will expand the preferences and show you all the settings. These are good places to change where default folders or files are, whether you prefer to use JMC or Mineways, for instance. Uh, and then it also has quick links for tutorials, as well as some other information such as auto checking for updates, all good things to do. But the next step to confirm that the add on is in fact working is to find it in the interface. Now, 2.8 has changed its layout in a decent bit compared to 2.7. Instead of it being on the left-hand side, the MC Prep add-on is now in the right-hand side, which you can show by clicking on the little arrow in the 3D view or by pressing the N key, which you will then find multiple tabs similar as you used to find on the left-hand side. Clicking on MC Prep should show you all of the menu options that you expect. Now, collapsing these menus a little bit, we can see we have all the main sections as before. You have world imports, world tools, skin swapper, as well as the spawner. I'm going to be doing more in-depth tutorials about each of these sections, so do look forward to that. If you find you have any issues or you have any bugs that show, please do report the errors. I use that to know where people run into issues or open up an issue on the actual GitHub page. You can find this by going to the original URL, then clicking on issues, and then creating a new issue. 2.8 is really exciting. I hope you get a chance to play around with it. As a little bit of a teaser, I just wanna show off what you're able to do with MC Prep and Blender 2.8. So for instance, you'll notice that the actual artwork cover for this release was in fact created in Blender 2.8, and it was created in Eevee no less. So if I go into rendered mode here, you'll find that after a moment, once this scene sort of loads in memory, you'll find that the final rendered image is something that I'm able to view in real time in the viewport. And that is super exciting. You can see here my scene. I have my flower, if I go back to my camera view, I have this depth of field and the bokeh effect on the background and all these soft shadows and everything is all naturally in this view right here, which is just super exciting. So definitely go try it out. Let me know if you have any issues in the comments. And until next time, happy blending.